So, my second part of this can so what should India do given that battery cost is very high? Can India drive its EV, EV program innovatively at different leaf and scale? Remember who was driving the EV program most or at least who is most known? Tesla. Tesla vehicles are what? What is the cost of Tesla vehicle? $50,000, $30,000,000, $35,000,000, $40,000,000, $50,000,000, $60,000,000. $60, These are quite acceptable in the West, in Europe also, in parts of China also. In India, it will be acceptable to 1% of our population. The rest of the population drive vehicles which are 5 lakhs, 7 lakhs, 4 wheelers, 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs. It drives 2 wheelers which is 50,000, 70,000. Are we going to take the same approach as Tesla's of the world? Then we are talking about 40, 50 lakhs, 1 percent of population. In this, I am going to look at this question in this section. Understand uniqueness of India's vehicles and as battery dominates the cost of electric vehicle, how do you deal with it? This is an important cost. First of all, look at the number of vehicles sold in India. This is the number. If you see, 16, 17, we sold about 21 million. It went to 24, 26. It would have been 30 million by now. But then the COVID stuck and it has gone down. It is expected that the real requirement is 30 million. It does not include e rickshaw but about 30 million vehicles. It has gone down temporarily. But also look at what is happening. 80, 90 percent of the vehicles are two wheelers. So, 80 percent, 80 percent. Then there are few three wheelers and passenger car is only 15 percent. And three wheelers is very commonly used to become last mile public transport. It is the biggest taxi in India. E rickshaw is the biggest taxi in India. Even for the cars, the 15 percent, you look at it, below 500,000 rupees is 28 percent. Below between 500,000 to a million is 55 percent. So, almost 80 percent of the cars, also 80 percent of 15 percent. 15 percent of total vehicle, 80 percent of that. We are talking about 12, 13 percent is vehicles which are less than a million rupees or 12, 13,000, 12,000 dollars, 30,000 dollars. Forget about 30, 40, 50. If you are talking about that, that is less than half a percent of the vehicles. Why are you so concerned about that? Can we focus on there for two wheelers, three wheelers and low cost cars? That is the point that I am trying to make. So, out of the 14 percent, premium cars above a million is only about 16 percent. Okay? So, this is the point that I am trying to make. Therefore, what I am saying, India's auto segment is different from most of the world, small and affordable vehicles. 95 percent of our vehicles consist of two wheelers, autos and e-rickshaws and economy car less than 1, uh, 1 million rupees or 12, 13,000 rupees. Only 2 percent of our vehicles are premium cars and then of course, buses and trucks which are 3 percent. Can we therefore, focus on this and make them extremely cost effective? Because if you do not, the market is not there. India cannot but focus on this. So, India's EV strategy has to be two wheeler, three wheeler and a small four wheelers costing less than 12,000, 13,000 dollars or 1 million rupees. This constitute 95 percent of vehicles and buses and trucks also where cost is slightly less concerned because it is a shared usage or 3 percent. Price point is much lower than that the best and this is driven by affordability and this 
is where India needs to take leadership. We cannot copy what is being done in the West. Tesla is not for that. Our Tesla is for the top one, two percent. Leave that. We can even import Teslas. Now, this can happen if we design it differently, make it low cost, and design and develop every subsystem in India, manufacture them at low cost. We can't just import this subsystem design, otherwise, the cost will be the same. So, that is what we have to do. Premium four wheelers, two percent of the vehicles, we can let Teslas come here, or we can have local companies making equal Tesla. Let us not focus on that, focus on the rest. This is something, such a simple strategy, unfortunately does not get into the heads of bureaucrats. They want to copy if what is going on. Very often our whole intelligentsia just wants to copy West. Very simple thing like this that we need to focus differently. We have to make things more affordable. Finally, that is the only thing that wins. Therefore, the only traction that we have got is in two wheelers and three wheelers. But 60, 70 percent of the time is spent on these four wheelers. Expensive four wheelers, Teslas, our ministers go visit, they make statements. Even our technologists very often are so overawed by this top 2 percent, 1 percent market that they mess up everything. This cost will focus more on how to make things affordable, two-wheeler, three-wheeler, small four-wheelers and public vehicles. We have to then ask the total cost per kilometer for driving. I am saying total cost, cost of the fuel plus cost of the batteries. Taking into account is depreciation and interest for its lifetime. Because without battery, electric vehicle cost is less than the ICE engine vehicle, ICE vehicles. It is a battery that replaces the fuel tank, which is the dominant cost. And the battery cost basically goes to cost per kilometer, and we need to do that. ICE has a low cost petrol tank, EV requires expensive battery. So, we need to do a different computation. Battery is extra cost in EV and is a dominant. So, the question that we have to ask is if we are going to use a battery, how what is the size of battery? Why? If a vehicle has higher energy efficiency, what is a higher energy efficiency? Per kilometer, I will use less energy. Watt hour per kilometer is less. If my watt hour per kilometer is less, I require smaller size battery, my cost comes down. It is the same question that people ask in a vehicle, kitna deti hai, what is my watt, eh, watt kilometers per liter of petrol? How many kilometers can I drive in my 100 rupees? We have to ask the same question, watt hour per kilometer and try to optimize that. That is our task. Because if we have better, more or uh, less watt hour per kilometer, less watt hour per kilometer, then our size and weight of the battery will reduce, in fact, enhancing further. If weight reduces, further your watt hour per kilometer will go up. So, that is what our focus should be. Efficiency improved by improving. Now, how do you improve watt hour per kilometer? That is called efficiency. How do I improve it? By improving the more in a way motor and controller efficiency that plays a major role. Is the motor controller efficiency 93 percent, 95 percent at different speed or is it 85 percent? That will make a major difference. Better tires will reduce low what I will later on talk teach you rolling resistance and that will help in improving the energy efficiency. Better vehicle aerodynamics will reduce the amount of energy that I take and lower weight. Can I lower the, can I throw out the extra weight? Now, of course, ICE engine had weight due to its engine and all those kind of things. My major weight component in electric vehicle will be battery. So, again, if I reduce the size of the battery, all that will help. 
This is important. In India's first EV R&D task should be how do I reduce watt hour per kg of a vehicle? Energy efficiency. We then have to take into account our capital and operational cost of EV. So, I have taken here some numbers just in the beginning and try to do a simple example. I have taken a battery size 1 kilowatt hour, 2 kilowatt hour, 3 kilowatt hour, 4 kilowatt hour and roughly took the cost. 1 kilowatt hour is a small battery, it is 18,000. By the time it is 4, I do not spend 18 kilowatt, 18,000 rupees. That would have been 72,000. I have reduced the cost. It is more like 15, uh, 14,000 rupees or even less. Now, I have taken here 2 wheelers and then 3 wheelers. What is the watt hour per kilometer? Suppose I go 15, 20, 25, 30 and for auto 40, 50. Now, with 1 kilowatt hour, what is the range that I can get? With 2 kilowatt hour, what is the range that it can get? With 3 kilowatt hour, what is the range that I get? What is the for 4 kilowatt hour rate that I get? So, battery cost per kilowatt hour reduces from 18,000 rupees for 1 kilowatt hour, 13.5 thousand per kilowatt hour or 4 kilowatt hour. Now, I cannot use the full battery. That is another thing that you will learn. You will later on learn this as a depth of discharge of battery. If you try to use the battery fully, fully charge it, fully discharge it, it hurts the battery life. So, you will charge it probably to 90 percent and discharge it to 5 percent. Remember, even in a laptop, you do not fully discharge. Last 5 percent, you shut it off, you charge. So, if you are going to use only 85 percent of the battery, I have to take that into account into my cost. So, doing that, EV operation cost is less than 8 rupees per kilowatt hour. Hmm? That is 8 rupees already high, electricity cost is less. So, I could have battery capital cost as energy efficiency improves from 25 to 15, one gets higher range for the same battery size or battery size reduces and therefore, capital cost goes down, implies lower a capital cost and for 100 kilometer range now, compute size reduction with efficiency of 25 watt hour per kilometer to 15 watt hour per kilometer. So, if I improve from 25 to 15, battery size will go down from 2.9 to 1.8, cost reduces from 44,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees. I am just showing you some number because the point that I am making is that increasing energy efficiency helps. There is a, I will use these numbers in the assignment problem also and given these numbers, you will be able to get a feel of what we are talking. These numbers are realistic numbers and you will get a feel and then we will talk about the actual calculating of the cost including depreciation and interest rate later on. So, this is the home assignment that I to told you. A two wheeler uses 25 watt hour per kilometer, we need a battery with 80 kilometer range, calculate the size of battery required, use the data which is there in the previous slide. Estimate the cost of the battery using linear interpolation where required using data given in slide 46, not 44, should be slide 46, this change can be made. So, solve this problem, it will give you some idea, we will build all these numbers later on. This is another assignment I have given you.